Good day everybody, this is Dark Comet and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day out there so far. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Wrath of the Druids DLC. This is going to be episode number 14 of Eivor's Adventures in the Emerald Isle of Ireland. There's only one more episode of this to finish off this DLC and I hope you guys are enjoying the tale so far. In the last episode we saw Eivor help King Flan's army, um, since he's in tatters. We helped and went with Sigfrith, um, deal with the loss of his father. We also decided to go out and try to find and identify the remaining members of the children of Danu and take them out, which we did. We took out the seed, the whisperer, the ash, the blaze, and the spider, five of their crucial members, and now there's only one left. So in this episode, we're going to assemble our forces. We're going to fight with High King Flan, Eivor, um, and her allies. We're going to find everywhere we can to go and take out Abbot Owen at his fortress. Um, we're going to take and cross his name off the list um, as the leader of the Chitlin Danu. And then we're going to have a really cool thing where we're going to take all those Amber Shards back to the Druid Deidre to create a potion from the Amber Shards to help if we're gain the Scorching Power of the Sun power, um, which is pretty cool. We're also going to get the best weapon in the game, in my opinion. The guy blog, uh, which is a fantastic spear. It stuns your enemies. It is absolutely incredible. Um, I love it, love it, love it. I can't express it more. Um, maybe there's a better one in the Siege of Paris, but for right now, this is the best weapon in the game. And in order to do that, Ever's going to have to get a surprise. Um, she's going to have to face an ancient evil in a dreamlike scape to obtain the last piece of the puzzle so she can get that spear. So let's go ahead and get started. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this tale, and let's get busy. Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amma, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amma? We do, thanks to Sigfrith. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. We cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them If I may, that... I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well. To send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they're all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about my past. The past is past, and not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. It's good to see you take command. It suits you. It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. When battle is done, you can move on to what you like. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. There are worse fates than being a king. 
Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Sigthrith, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man, but he lacks his father's seasoning. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord, in the court and on the field. Come, let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes, Owen must answer for his actions. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right.
remain steadfast! Yeah! Gather your breath, but remain at our ready! Too easy. House of God, Flanchina. I'll be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are everywhere, even in your court. Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess, but she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flawn. He tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. <laughs> you lie, devil. Huh. <laughs> Love conceals blemish and evil. It's easy to lose sight when you're following a woman's backside. <sighs> There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot!
shall not let your cattle breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, devil. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you about the children of Danu, what other secrets does she keep? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words, Lord. Don't let them in. Could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. She was part of that cult. She isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, oh, this fetid air befouls my thoughts. Let us step out into God's cleansing light. It is a beautiful land. We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. <laughs> ah, and the king of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered, the living and the dead. Is done. Here are your blood-soaked bits of amber. Hmm. I felt them die. Each by each. Boil these shards. Make your potion. I shall. I shall. I've been preparing for this since we met. You spoke of great power? The spear. You'll have it in your hands soon enough. Once you defeat Valor. You said nothing of this? Surely you remember Valor. He is heat, drought, a scorching sun come to Earth. I know of no such creature. Many heroes fell to him. But Woden would not. The lance called Gay Bullock pierces his flesh. This is where he is weak. Are you ready to fight him? Let me drink. Drink deeply. You'll remember. Balar is ancient. He is <laughs> chaos itself. Defeat him, and the spear is yours. Hmm. 
I have waited for you these many centuries. You're here. I have come for your power. I must speak to Deirdre.
I felt you would prevail. It was an unusual contest. The spear, Gay Bullock, is yours for crushing the children of Danu and defeating Balor. Kira will be pleased the Danu have been quenched. She fights hard for those she calls true druids. Keep the spear close, Eivor. I sense a great battle ahead. Goodbye, Deirdre. Slan, Eivor. Slan. <laughs>